let's get to organizing. So, laptop, headphones, tags that need sorting, and the folders. I've made a video about this previously, but I just needed motivation to do it. So, making a video out of it is motivating. So, yeah. They are those hellebores over there. Well, I'm standing behind glass, so sorry about the glare, but those hellebores cannot go in the ground unless I have organized my tags. So let's do that. And maybe you also need to, I don't know, organize something garden related, not garden related, but yeah, I might also get two little helpers, so let me introduce those. This is one of them. His name is Sam. Samson, the long version, but it's also been Sammy, Sam the man, fluff monster. He is sleeping and his brother is over there. These are two nor northern forest cats, I believe is the English term. So yeah, some changes have been made because of those furry fluff balls. But yeah. So I have showed you this Excel sheet previously, but just to recap, this is the system I use. I'm not sure if you uh, would also like to use it, but my visual personality loves this, so go me. So this is the first sheet. This is the rooftop terrace, which needs a drastic overall because like all of these plants are no longer on the rooftop terrace since we did the overhaul. So that's how long this Excel sheet has been neglected. But uh, the rooftop terrace gets its own sheet. Um, these are all the, ooh, well, all the perennial plants. Since I only have perennials, but divided by area. So this is the field shed garden. This is the magnolia garden. And these are all the months, so these are all the months that they flower in. That is the way I like to split things up, because I like to have flowers all year round and some color. And yeah, same goes for the bulbs. This is the sheet for all the bulbs. The colors means, means in what year they were planted. I have no idea what color is what, so let me check. So the Dark purple is 2020, 2021 was green, 2022 is blue, and 2023, so last year, is orange, brown, copper. Copper, maybe that's... So yeah, that's this uh, sheet. I also have a separate sheet for all my... Um, the the what's the word I'm looking for plants that they stay green all year round that's not deciduous but the other thingy those get uh, so that I know what areas are lacking some green uh, continuously this is a sheet that I use to put because uh, some of the tags give information on when to cut it uh, how high or uh, those tips those I gather up in uh, this sheet um, these are plants that I would like so this is my wish list with a picture and this one I have so I can delete it always nice but it's more of an inspiration, so I probably won't get an echinacea rasmataz, but maybe something that looks like it. But eh? 
Same goes for the Eucharist or other things, but because I also got this one, to be honest. Hmm. How lovely. I also do have a couple of viburnum, so those can, but I will go through it, but these are some grasses that I like and yeah, I've been saving up. This is a sheet that I have um, from all the plants that I have that I can grow from seed. All the perennials, that is, not the uh, seeds that I have for the vegetable garden. But when I do, I'm going to start my seeds. I'm going to be rigorous and start a lot of seeds because I know I have a lot of old seeds. So probably not a lot of germination left in them. That's my bad. I'm learning as I go. Seeds expire. That's the lesson here. Seeds expire. This is a picture of all the plants that I have from seeds. Just to reference it. If I'm like, yeah, I want to start it. But where do I put it? If I'm not very good. And this is also a wish list from a specific um, grower. As felt in... Boscope. I personally think they have a great selection of plants, perennials, shrubs, trees. So, yeah. Big wish list from them. So now it's just a matter of, for me at least, to add these in my Excel sheet. Probably also um, update it, uh, remove stuff that died and all that jazz. But yeah, it's going to take a while, probably. Let's do this, shall we? Let's see how happy I am afterwards or not. Or if I can finish it this afternoon, that will be lovely. It is now a quarter to, to four. I think it's going to take me more than an hour, sadly. But yeah, talking is also procrastinating. Can you tell? So, let's do this. So, it's been, well, effectively, I would say, an hour and 15 minutes. And I've not made a dent in this bin. Procrastination ain't a good thing. So, yeah. I have done some things, true. I also found some labels that from bulbs that I put in the uh, pots and then transplanted after they stopped blooming. So I sorted that and some other tags that I found in inside the folders, I mean. Those were inside the folders, not in here. But yeah. It's so much more work than I always think it is. <laughs> This year I want to stay on top of it, well, maybe somewhat more, but not this big of a pile. Because especially now I should have 
uh, maybe I should have done it earlier, but because now we are getting more daylight because it's the 16th of February today. So there's also a lot more to do or possibly to be done outside, like weeding. Another thing I've been procrastinating, but yeah. This is going to take me a couple of days, so maybe I'll add some time lapses after it, maybe not, but I hope it helped. I hope you did something you were procrastinating as well. And I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you also got to do something garden related today. <laughs> Bye everyone. Dag allemaal. Thank you for watching. I hope you also get to do something in your garden today. Bye everyone. Dag allemaal.